it's kind of independent of that question of what causes the okay. change in the cloud cover. Okay. Uh, this this is just a, an empirical analysis okay. of the data. Yes, but um, but certainly in the longer term, when you when you look at in what we believe in the right way of looking at the data, taking into account the massive heat capacity of the ocean and and the amount of um, change in the solar variation, it seems likely that there is a solar effect on cloud cover. So when the sun gets stronger, uh, it chases away more of those cosmic rays that, that Nir Shaviv's talking about yes. that get into the inner solar system and into our atmosphere and seed the clouds. Um, and so you get less cloud and, and also confirming that would be, you know, quite long-term, uh, reconstructions of solar activity and longer term proxy reconstructions of temperature, which show that there is, you know, a long-term relationship between, um, the, the sun's activity and the, the surface temperature on, on earth. So, you know, it's not so easy to tie down at the sort of interannual or decadal scale but you can see looking at longer term data sets yeah there is you can see that there is a relationship between the sun and and our climate and that's and that's probably amplified by the sun's effect on cloud cover yeah. uh, but it's not a sort of simple immediate one-to-one -one relationship there are obviously complex things going on that need more as always more research needed but but uh you know we we can get a uh, a sense that um, in the past it's quite clear that the sun had uh, a strong effect on climatic variation and there's no reason to suppose that the sun went on holiday and stopped affecting climatic variation just because we started putting out a bit more carbon dioxide after the second world war so you know this this is getting into the skeptical side of the argument mm. and, and saying hey let's look at natural variation because all the variation we've seen so far is within natural limits after yes. all. So we shouldn't be presupposing as the IPCC has that there's a human fingerprint on, uh, on climate change and global warming.